So right now we're here inside this activity main XML file and I'm just going to switch back to this uh, main activity.java and so as I click on it I'm going to go inside it so uh, we only have this uh, on create method right here and uh, just above it I'm going to go and declare a couple of things so I'm going to type in declare variables and uh, we have to take a couple of variables and those are for example uh, the text views um, the text view for the word that uh, has to be guessed by the user um, that's one that we're going to be using so I'm going to type in uh, as the name I'm just going to say txt word to be guessed okay and so as I have it basically what I need it for is that um, whenever I want to update uh, what is displayed on the screen we need these text views and so that's why we have them now I'm just gonna keep also a string with this uh, word to be guessed and that's just because I need to have uh, the string is gonna be basically just um, the word itself and this text view is just gonna be um, just an element in which we display that uh, string on the this, on the screen so this basically is just to display the things on the screen and this is just the content of the string so this is just gonna be for example apple if the word that we have to guess is apple and the txt word to be guessed is just gonna be um, a tool in order to display that on the screen so that's what we want to have and also we're gonna go and create a couple of other things so we have this word to be guessed and um, this is just gonna be throughout our project it's just gonna be for example um, the string itself now you also have a string that's gonna be displayed with underscores so that's uh, something that we're gonna be calling uh, uh, string word displayed so the word that is going to be displayed on the screen is gonna be a bit different than the word to be guessed and that's just because um, as I just said uh, the word displayed is gonna have underscores uh, the word to be guessed is just gonna be simply the word so um, I'm just gonna leave here uh, just a, a word to say that this is a string so word displayed string we're also gonna have uh, this word displayed on the screen as a character array because sometimes it's easier to manipulate it with uh, um, if it's a string variable sometimes it's easier if it's a character array so that's why we want to use this and so I'm gonna type in word um, displayed and then I'm just gonna say uh, character array so uh, just like this and at this moment we have uh, right now the first part of our application uh, finished so the first part of this uh, variables we also need to take uh, a list so I'm gonna have an array list as you can see this one for um, from the java.util uh, library I'm gonna use it and I want to specify it's an array list of strings and this is just uh, the list of our words that are possible to come in our application and I'm gonna call it my list of words and so I'm going to finish the declaration with a semicolon and then I'm going to have also to take the edit text from android.widget and this is going to be for uh, the edit input so the input field in which the user inputs one letter and then we're going to have a text view for um, for the letters that the user tried so I'm going to type in txt letters tried and now as I said the text view is just a, a tool in order to display something in that text view and uh, we're gonna have also a string with a letter stride in which we're gonna keep track of the letters that the user tried and also we're gonna need uh, something that is uh, a constant so I'm gonna type in final string and this is gonna be uh, just a message with a letter stride and that's because we want to have for example the message that says letters tried and then a colon a space and then we just uh, add all the letters that the user tried so we just split this in two parts okay and at this moment we still need a couple more things we need to uh, specify the text view for um, the number of tries left so I'm gonna type in txt tries left Okay, and now we have the tool to display uh, the tries left and you also need a string 
with uh, the tries left. Okay, so that we keep track of exactly how many tries the user still has. After this, we need a couple more constants, and we're gonna have um, just a constant. And also, um, I forgot to uh, mention that this should be basically all in uh, capital letters because. Um, we use a different kind of uh, convention for naming uh, constants. So I'm going to say message and then with letters tried. That's just a better naming convention so that we know that um, this is a constant. Same thing we're going to do with uh, this string right here, which is going to be just a winning message. So I'm going to make it all in capitals and with underscores between the words. So uh, winning message. It's going to be just declared right here. You won. Okay, and almost the same thing, just that for the losing message. I just want to declare them right here so that we have them. And we're going to say you lost. Okay, and so right now we have this uh, constants defined, and we have them just exactly as they should be because it's just easier to uh, understand that they should be kept the same and also for constants uh, you can declare them and initialize them as well so you can give some value to them right here and that's the only uh, time you can give a value to them because throughout our project they're gonna have the same value and now the variables they can change their value and so we're not gonna give them a value right here here we just declare them and then uh, we have to initialize them later on. It's not a good practice to initialize the variables right here, but you can initialize the constants. So I'm going to go right now and I'm going to define also uh, some animations. So I'm going to have animation and we're going to define our animations later on, but for now I'm just going to uh, make sure that we have them right here and I'm going to have a rotate animation. Okay, and Another animation we're going to specify as the scale animation. So that's kind of like a zoom animation. And finally, we're going to have one more, and that is a scale and zoom. So just scale and rotate animation. These animations we're going to define later on. For now, we're just going to specify them that we're going to be using them in this project. 